how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over a few of the best weapons to use as well as the class setups based around those uh, in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta and towards the end I'll talk a little bit about the paint shop and show off a few bits of gameplay for that as well uh, at the end of the video and also want to let you guys quickly know as well uh, that I do have another video coming out later on today a few hours after this video does go live. Uh, which is going to be the top 5 tips and tricks in GTA 5, that series that a lot of you guys do enjoy. And uh, once again, if you do want to tune into that, that'll be up a few hours after this one does go live. Now, after quite a few hours on the Black Ops 3 beta yesterday and today, uh, for those of you who don't know, I was actually a part of the closed beta for Black Ops 3 as well, um, with a bunch of other YouTubers and pro players. So we did actually get a chance to play it a little bit early. Uh, it took me a little while to get used to the game, but after a few games of playing and uh, ranking up different weapons and stuff, there is a few weapons in the game that distinctively stand out and are in general much better than some of the other weapons in the game. One of those being the Razorback submachine gun. This thing literally mounts your enemies. It's a very low recoil SMG with good range and a very good fire rate in terms of an SMG. And uh, especially with the long barrel on, this almost feels like an assault rifle SMG hybrid because of uh, how good this weapon is at range uh, and of course also close range as well. Now, in terms of a class setup based around this weapon for the attachments, I am going with a quick draw, a grip and a red dot sight. Now, if I had the chance, which I haven't actually unlocked it yet, I would actually replace the grip with the long barrel because of course the long barrel uh, giving you that extended range definitely would be a great addition to the weapon. Uh, for red dot sight, I guess it's just based on personal preference for everything that you do like uh, the iron sights on this weapon which by the way the iron sights are actually really good uh, but I just like to use the red dot sight anyway so um, that's what I'm going for on the attachments for the secondary I'm going for the pistol uh, the very first one that you have which is the MR6 there isn't really too much to go by in the secondary section for the Black Ops 3 beta you can choose a knife as well uh, if you do one and that is the only way that you can get a knife now is by having it in your secondary slot um, if you don't have a knife on you will actually be gun button people when you actually choose to melee someone and um, you will actually start gun button them which is pretty funny but aside from that pretty default for the lethal and tactical section just a simple frag and a flashbang is uh, what I personally like to go with and for the perks here is where things start to get a little bit more interesting there's several perks that you can choose from of course being new to black ops 3 and one of the ones that i actually like to choose is overclock for the first one which of course will earn your specialist weapon or specialist ability that much faster now if i wasn't going with this one i would actually go with six cents uh, which you know by the description actually you would think is quite overpowered uh, which is pretty much it you know when you get close to enemies it will show up a directional marker of where they're looking at uh, kind of similar to the blackbird i guess you could say but it's not as overpowered as that it's not uh, quite what it seems in game but it is very good still and especially for those of you who are tactically aware of your minimap I know exactly what's going on on the minimap and uh, that will still be a great perk for you but for me on this class I like to go with overclock uh, for pack 2 I just keep it as fast hands you know swap weapons faster uh, aim down sights faster when running that kind of good stuff and um, you can also go with anti up as well which is another one that I like to choose from which of course would just mean that you actually earn your score streaks that much faster and then for the third pack I actually go with blast suppressor which means that uh, when you're thrust jumping around and stuff there will be no mini map signature that pops up on the map as well uh, the thrust sounds that it makes will also be silent uh, to the enemy team so it's a great perk you know if you want to be a little bit more stealthy and less visible on the mini map and stuff uh, that is definitely a great perk there for the third section and that pretty much wraps it up uh, for the Razorback class setup guys if you are past level 4 and you haven't chosen this weapon or you haven't tried it out yet definitely try this weapon out or maybe try this class setup as well uh, surrounding it and I guarantee you guys that you will like this weapon it mounts enemies so quickly and it is definitely one of the best weapons in the game now another the weapon that's really good straight out of the assault rifle category this time once again uh, kind of starting off with is the man of war a very low recoil kind of slower fire rate as well to the other assault rifles weapon with high damage and uh, once again it just mounts enemies in my opinion this thing is awesome i'm going with a little bit of a different class setup with this one uh going with the red dot sight the stock and as well as the quick draw for this one and uh the only thing i've really changed from this uh, compared to the razorback uh is the secondary perk which for this time i go with anti up uh trying to go for those score shoots a little bit faster so in general the man of war is another weapon that in my opinion is one of the best weapons to kind of rank up alongside and kind of unlock early and, and you know rank up with that and in general it's just an absolute beast of a weapon of course you know until you get to those higher ranks uh, where you can unlock things like the M8 and the XR2 which in my opinion are, are absolute beasts of weapons as well uh, from using the M8 when I've picked it up I was tearing it up it's very similar to the Black Ops 2 M8 um, in terms of like damage and, and you know speed wise of killing people uh, same thing for the XR2 as well the XR2 is a three burst weapon that is near enough always a two burst kill 
or a free burst kill, mainly for me when I was using it as one of the default classes, it was a two burst kill. So XR2 and the M8 are going to be great weapons when you have ranked up in the main game. Uh, but for now, those two weapons there, the Man of War and the Razorback are great weapons for ranking up with at the early stages of the game. Now for the final part of the video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the paint shop. Uh, as you can see, we'll have a, you know, throw up a bit of gameplay here. And uh, for those of you who don't know, this is an awesome feature in Black Ops, which you can pretty much kind of make your own camos. You, you can apply different kind of textures to it. Uh, you can apply different colors. You can make it, you know, a bunch of different things, uh, which in my opinion is absolutely awesome. Now, the one downside to this is it only applies to a certain part of the weapon. And I'm not entirely sure uh, if this is supposed to be just for the beta or if this is going to be happening in the main game. But on some weapons, the, the area that you can customize it is very small. You know, for instance, we have here the Man of War, uh, which you can only really customize a very small portion of it. Uh, very different to the M8. There's actually a lot more that you can actually do on the M8, as you can see here, which I'm doing right now. And in general, it's great for customization. There's going to be a lot of ideas that are made from this, a lot of great customizations, a lot of uh, great camos that the community makes behind this. And it's just awesome in general. Once again, you can apply like a texture to start off with. So if I wanted to have like a carbon texture, I could. And then I could apply a color on top of that texture. I could mix two textures together and put them in one. There's just in general a bunch of different stuff that you can have in this paint shop. And it's kind of very easy to use as well. It's very similar to the way you would create an emblem in Black Ops 2. Uh, you know, in the terms of, you know, the way the hood looks and the way you kind of work it. Uh, but just on weapons instead. So very easy to navigate, very easy to use. And I can't wait to see what some of you guys out there create uh, using this kind of you know paint shop feature so that pretty much wraps it up for this Black Ops video today. I just wanted to kind of cover a few things from the beta in terms of best class setups and stuff like that. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed. So, of course, if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new around. And I'll catch you guys later today with a brand new video. Peace out.